And Morris, you do take lead vocal on Wildflower. Yes, uh, I do, Paul. How do you decide this when you write the song? Who sings it? That was uh, one of two songs that were picked that we might, the three of us all wrote uh, for my solo on the album. Wildflower just seemed to be the most obvious for the harmonies and also for the high notes and things. And, and uh, it just started, we just started singing it all when we first started writing it. I mean, each one, each one of us was singing the lead, we're all singing together, no, like we did with Paradise. And uh, it just came out that this would be a nicer song for you. Paradise is a song where all three of you are singing, and on a couple of tracks on the album, there is no lead vocal listed. Mm -hmm. uh, this, again, is almost a return to the OBGs. Yeah. Singing yeah. together. Yes, yes. That's, that it was is. the whole idea on our part, to, to go back to our basic sing, the three of us singing together. And though, in other words, once the record is done, we can always repeat it. We can always go on stage and sing it just that way, and it will still work instead of having to find out electronic ways of repeating what you did on the record. That song, Paradise, is a particular favorite of mine. Uh, right. Do you consider it as a single, possibly? Oh, yeah. It's considered amongst the three main releases, possibly, from this album. The way that uh, Paradise or Don't Fall in Love With Me, particularly as ballads, come across strikes me that maybe that is your greatest strength as songwriters. Do you, do you feel that way? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. 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 That our ballad area is, our is one of our strongest areas, yeah. And that actually knows no age of songwriters. In other words, many people, as they enter their 30s, feel, uh-oh, maybe uh, my popularity will go on the wane now. But I can mm -hmm. see you going on and on as long as you wish as songwriters. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I would say, honestly, through our down periods, the only thing that really kept us alive uh, and going is, is our songwriting. Yeah. So it's been a great asset to us. Barry, you did something which is... A, which is clearly a development, uh, an extension of your songwriting skill with Be Who You Are, the last track on this album. This is quite a long one, and it's quite a big production number, isn't it? Yes, but it started out as a simple song. I mean, it just seemed to warrant that kind of production, and also it was, it was the obvious finale song to go with. It was a nice way to close the album. The very thought mm. was a nice way to close the album. And we decided to write a reprise of the uh, rest of the album, in other words, to incorporate some of the little melodies like, like Living Eyes and... Uh, uh, within that reprise done by a 40-piece orchestra, which is uh, which has turned out real nice, but that also links Be Who You Are, so it's all one thing. I think most fans view your career in phases rather than in a sequence. Yes. Do you yourself see it that way? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Well, if we go from one kind of thing to another kind of thing. Without yeah. a, a linear development? Without an actual link-up to each thing. I think we're like that. I just think we're yeah. like that because of the way we grew up. I think we do it ourselves, we go through these things ourselves. Right. If we have a down, we're probably responsible for it directly. And if we have an, an up, we're responsible for that directly too. We, we pull ourselves out of holes and we sometimes jump into a few. But um, I think it's from our childhood. I think because of the fact that we moved from one side of the world to another as very little children, we got to see and experience things that children don't often see and experience. And I think it might have made us a little radical as human beings on growing up. If, if you are, and uh, indeed you are, uh, truly international people at this point, wh where do you think the, the future concentration of your activity will be? That's very hard to say. Mm. It's very hard to say. We don't really have an answer for that because we'll, we'll ride this situation out as long as we can take it and everything will work and everything falls into place and it all appears natural. But mm. the moment that it doesn't, then I think everybody will move on. But I don't foresee that. None of us foresee it. We're all having too much of a good time, and we should be able to carry on <coughs> as we always were. Thank you, Barry. Morris, oh, thank Robert. you.